Two court hearings were held this morning in Carver County to determine what to do with Prince's estate. The superstar's fortune has been in limbo since his death back in April of last year from an accidental painkiller overdose. Since then, no will has surfaced and questions remain as to who will inherit and manage the singer's estate. Mary McGuire was at those court hearings this morning. Mary, do we know who could be on the list of potential heirs to Prince's estate? Well, court proceedings and filings have been happening here in Carver County Court for months after the death of Prince, and so far a judge has named six potential heirs to that estate. They are Tyka Nelson, who is Prince's only full sibling, and five other half-siblings. We thought we may learn who the official heirs will be and how much they would get today, but a judge did not make that decision. Instead, they dealt with what entity was going to manage the estate. Would a representative be appointed to manage that estate along with that heir or heirs? And if a final inventory of Prince's estate was accurate. Bremer Trust initially was called in on an emergency basis because Prince didn't have a will. Documents filed in Carver County Court show Prince had multiple properties in both Carver and Hennepin County, bank accounts with more than $110,000 in them and 67 gold bars. In all, his estate could be worth between $100 and $300 million. But many things haven't been valued yet, like his musical instruments and his jewelry. That made it a challenge for inventory to take an inventory of such a music icon. This estate administration has to be one of the most complicated in Minnesota history. It is without precedent. In the nine months that Bremer has served as special administrator, it has accomplished an extraordinary amount. Now, all of those non-excluded heirs that we did mention at first, those six people who have been named, they did agree that the bank in charge of the estate should be moved from Bremer Trust to Comerica. They were divided, however, on the representative that should be appointed to help those heirs manage that estate. Some of them believe that Londell McMillan should be named as a potential representative. He has been a longtime attorney for Prince. Another name that was mentioned was Van Jones, who has been Omar Baker's, one of Prince's half siblings, his attorney. All, no decisions in all were made, but we do have our very own Reg Chapman, who is sitting in on the court proceedings today. A camera was also allowed in court, so you can watch what has been happening. We will bring you the latest as if any decisions have been made both on air and online. Back to you. All right, Mary McGuire, thank you.